What's up, YouTube? This your boy JB, aka the King of Soul, and today we got something special. Early pairs, early pairs. Before we get into the review, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you dig the content, do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, share. Um, what we're looking at today is the Air Jordan 1 Retro with a high OG, the uh, taxi colorway. Um, the shoe is set to be released um, later on this month, the September. Um, it has like, you know, grown to grow quite the buzz. In my opinion, I feel like, I mean, I don't want to jump the gun, but I do feel like this is, in my opinion, I'm gonna say it's no, my top shoe of the year, number one. But I mean, it's a little bit too early. So let me just go on and say, I'm gonna just put it in the top five. It's definitely gonna be top five of the year. Um, but I just feel like this shoe is just dope. Um, people tend to compare this to the Air Jordan 1, the uh, Shattered Backboard, um, for obvious reasons. Like, you know, like the colorways are kind of, you know, similar. Even with this particular, you know, shoe, it is kind of like a muted um, Shattered Backboard, you know, that orange starfish color tone. But it's just an overall dope sneaker. Like, um, pictures start to surface. Um, on this shoe earlier this year. I'm pretty sure like you guys do remember um, probably about a year ago, there was images of another Air Jordan 1, which we call like, you know, the yellow toe. They do call these the yellow toes too, but I'm gonna just run with taxi. Um, but the other yellow was kind of like more vibrant, you know, yellow than like, you know, this muted orange. But I just feel like, you know, like the quality and material on this shoe, like everything just stands out. Um, let's just go and get into it. But um, again, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, uh, Taxi Colorway. I've been waiting for this one for a minute. Um, like I said, this shoe is set to release later on this month, but I was able to get my hands on the early pair. So definitely shout out to the plug. Let me go ahead and move the sneaker out of the way. But um, here you go. Air Jordan 1, Taxi. Um, pretty much like your overall build, just like, you know, any other Air Jordan 1. Um, the thing that, you know, sticks out to me the most on this shoe is the quality of the leather. Um, like I mentioned in my other video, I know I had did a review for the Air Jordan 1 Pine Green, and if you guys remember, part of the discussion, we talked about how um, you know, sneakerheads all alike, they tend to use the quality on the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboards to kind of be like, you know, the 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 all be all, you know, if that makes sense. Like it just seems like that's just like top tier and it just became like, you know, the the standard for like, you know, Air Jordan 1 quality. The quality leather on this shoe is pretty consistent with the um shattered backboard. Um, but again, it's so many shoes. Like, I don't know why that one tends to, that tends to stick out a little bit more than most. Um, Cause again, the shattered backboard, like the quality leather on there, you can get that on the um, the gray shadow, um, the core purples, um, the Jordan 1 Obsidian. It's so many other, you know, Jordan 1s that has this quality. Um, I was just a fan of the colorway on this shoe. So let's start with the right shoe. Now, on your lateral side of the shoe, you do have your Wings logo. And along the panels here, it does have that matching, you know, taxi color. Um, the mid panel here, the leather is amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys can really like see it, but I will definitely get it in the B-roll, but the leather on the mid panel on this shoe is amazing. Like it, it tumbles, it's soft. Um, I don't know about calf leather and all that, what people be saying, but at the end of the day, it is like, you know, a pretty good um, uh, leather quality. Um, going along to the toe box here, of course, you know, you got the taxi on the, you know, toe box here. The shape of the shoe, I just feel like the overall build of it was amazing. Um, the medial side of the shoes consistent with the other side. So again, you got the taxi along the panels. Now this middle 
here. It's not really a white, it's actually more of a cell colorway. Um, this here, like on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, mid of the shoe, um, that's more of a white and it does like contrast to actually, you know, be able, like, you know, to give the shoe a little bit more character. I do like when they do that. Um, you got your Nike Air logo on the tongue of the shoe. And for the most part, like I said, what you see is what you get. Like it's just like any other Air Jordan 1. Same kind of color blocking that you would see on like, you know, the bread toe, the pine green, the court purple. Again, the shattered backboard. I keep, you know, I mean, that's just what we do. We just compare sneakers. But um, at the end of the day, like anytime like they, the Jordan brand does, um, this color blocking, it does not matter what color they throw on this color blocking. They are going to win every time. Like I prefer this color blocking over that, um, the Jordan bread color blocking, the black toe, like all of them. Like this, I don't know, maybe it's just, you know, the little hand here on the toe box area. But um, this is the right shoe, or the left shoe, excuse me. Um, same thing, you know, wings logo, panels match. The medial side of the shoe, everything is consistent. So again, it's pretty much the same as what you expect from like any other Air Jordan 1. Um, I would give this shoe, just because of like the color and the build and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, a, a 10 out of 10. Um, and one thing that I do wanna point out in this video before we get up out of here, um, understand Jordan ones are gonna always be inconsistent. Um, I do feel like the the leather on this shoe, they do have like that thick cut leather that you know everyone tends to you know enjoy with this shoe with, with these um Air Jordan ones. But at the end of the day, I understand like these products are handmade. So one shoe compared to the other, it's not gonna always be consistent. It's always gonna be some inconsistencies. If you see a picture or a photo, you know, a photo online or something like that, doesn't matter if it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be. I understand everybody's shoes are not gonna be the same. These shoes are made in multiple different factories. Sometimes like, you know, Nike, they'll like, you know, reach out and outsource like, you know, to China to have the shoes made, the sneakers made. And they all have, you know, factories, you know, three different factories working on one shoe. So when you have situations like that, you gotta understand there are gonna be like, you know, some inconsistencies shoe to shoe. It does not matter if it's the same size shoe or not. Um, one thing that I did like about this shoe that was like, you know, a little bit different. Um, and of course, like you do have, you know, laces now. Mine has laces, you know, but at the end of the day, I do know there are some pairs out there now and it does not have laces at all. I don't know what that is. I don't know why, but at the end of the day, I understand you might get a pair that does have laces and someone might get a pair that does not have laces. Um, just because yours has laces and theirs doesn't, doesn't make it a situation where the shoe is, you know, fake or anything crazy like that. Because again, I'm doing these videos just to kind of like, you know, help you guys out. Um, just to kind of highlight similarities in the shoes and everything. But going back to what I was saying, so like when you pull out the insole here, I do like that it does have like this matching, you know, taxi yellow to match. And it does have like, you know, the um, Nike Air logo. But I don't know, like if it's like a like a memory foam or whatever. It's, I know it's like you know some sort of like synthetic material here. But this material or this sole that they're using on this one is very comfortable compared to like other Air Jordan ones. Because like you're gonna get some people who say Air Jordan one. Um, the comfort in the shoe is amazing, but then you'll have some people that like, you know, they say like it's uncomfortable, but I've actually, you know, tried these on and everything like that. I don't really do too much like walking outside or nothing like that, but when I try it on the shoe, it is a situation where the shoe is very comfortable. Um, so I did like the fact that they did change that up. But um, other than that, that's pretty much all that I have on this shoe. But again, man, Air Jordan 1, Retro, High OG, Taxi. 
There's your rear, of course, like, you know, on the back, I know a lot of y'all like to see the um, hourglass. There's the lateral side of the right shoe. Lateral side of the left shoe. Let me move the less, uh, laces out the way. There's your bottom. Medial side of the shoe. There's your front of the shoe. But um, that's about it on this one, man. Like I said, overall, dope shoe. I'm gonna give this one probably a 10 out of 10, man. Like, I just feel like this is one of the best shoes that set, you know, that is set to release this year, um, 2020. I mean, it is a little bit early still to call as far as like, you know, saying like it's the best, but I guarantee you this will be top five. Um, so again, you know, as I do my videos and everything, I always, you know, appreciate, you know, the conversation and everything. So if you do have any questions or if I miss something on the shoe, um, definitely feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, and that's it. We out of here. See you next time.